Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial from SFDC Stop. And in this video, we are mainly going to learn how we can manage our scratch logs from the Dev Hub, right? So in the previous video tutorial, we actually had a look at how we can enable Dev Hub, how we can create scratch logs, how we can you know connect with scratch logs and interact with uh, with the SFDX CLI. So in this video, we'll have a, a more focus on Dev Hub, and we'll see how we can manage our scratch logs from the Dev Hub. What uh, what all information is present in the Dev Hub and all that stuff. So let's move on to agenda uh, first of all we'll learn how we can display all the orgs in sfdx cli second we'll have a have more information about dev hub third we'll see how we can delete a scratch org using sfdx cli fourth we'll see how we can delete a scratch org using dev hub and fifth we'll see how we can check the limits in salesforce org using sfdx cli so this is the agenda for today's video uh, let's move ahead the first thing is regarding how we can display all the orgs that are connected to your SFDX CLI. So once you authenticate any developer org or sandbox or any production org uh, using the SFDX CLI, the information is stored in your CLI itself. Even if you're connecting with a scratch org, the information is stored in your CLI. So we'll see how we can uh, see or display all the orgs uh, that are connected to my SFDX CLI, right? So in order to display all the orgs, the command that we have is SFDX force org and then list right so this command will actually display all the orgs that are connected to your sfdx cli whether you connected them now or one month back or even 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 earlier right so i'm just going to execute this command into my vs code terminal and we'll see which of the orgs are connected to my sfdx cli right now okay so here you can see the orgs that are connected to uh, my sfdx cli so they are they are some of the scratch orgs also that are connected and there are some other developer orgs and other orgs also that are connected to my uh, my sfdx cli right so this is the dev hub that is connected to my sfdx cli it is also visible here and the scratch orgs are visible uh, with the expiration date as well like we can see that these are the two scratch orgs that i just created about an hour back so these will be expired in around a day, right? Okay, so we got to know how we can uh, uh, see all the orgs that are connected to our VS Code CLI and uh, SFDX CLI, I should say. And I mean, uh, this information is useful. Let's say you want to open any of the scratch orgs. So you don't remember the username. You can just list all the scratch orgs. And from there, you can see what is the username of that scratch org. And then you can uh, use that username to open that scratch org light. Right? So let's say I want to open this scratch org. So I can just execute SFDX force um, org open command. And I can give the username of my scratch org, which I just copied from here, right? okay so the next thing that we are gonna have a look at is the information about dev hub so i just opened the scratch org right now by executing this command so let's just clear our screen and uh, i'm going to close this tab because we are focusing on dev hub in this video so uh, when you enable dev hub in your developer edition or professional uh, enterprise edition i should say or any um, any other edition of salesforce you just have two objects that are automatically enabled in your salesforce org the first object is regarding active scratch orgs right so this object mainly consists of all the information about your scratch orgs that are currently active uh that are currently active and that are related to this particular dev hub so right now if i just to uh, execute the previous command again in my cli uh which was regarding force org list i'll sh i can show you that there are four orgs that are currently active uh, and connected to my cli so there are four scratch orgs that are active and connected to my cli right but uh, out of these four orgs these two orgs are the one that are connected to my dev hub that i'm showing here so if i just check out uh, one of the username of this org like if i just copy this username and i check out the username here uh, i think i need to go to the second one so if I just check out the username here, we can see here that uh, this uh, username is or this scratch org is particularly linked with this particular dev hub, right? So active scratch orgs mainly consist of all the information about the scratch orgs that are currently active. And it consists of some general information like which instance my scratch org is using, which is the developer, which is the addition of my scratch org, how many days it will be active, which is the created date of the scratch org and all that stuff. And if you have specified features like multi-currency or other features that those features will also be listed here right 
Okay, and the second object that is automatically enabled when I enable my dev hub is Scratchog Infos. So this Scratchog Infos object mainly consists of all the information about my Scratchogs that I created using this particular dev hub. So it doesn't matter whether those Scratchogs are active or not. All the information about those Scratchogs will be present in Scratchog Infos object, right? Like uh, right now you can see there are two Scratchogs that are active. Uh, uh, from this particular dev hub so these active scratchogs are also shown here however there are a number of scratchogs that are deleted uh, and that, that I created in the past so the infos about uh, that particular scratchogs are also shown in the scratchog info object right so uh, here also we have some general in information like when it was created when it was expired when it was deleted so you can just uh, uh, have a look at all the information regarding your scratchogs right so uh, you got to know the difference. The active scratchog info mainly consists of the information only about your active scratchogs. This is also required because uh, let's say you have an enterprise edition and you have a number of developers who are working on the enterprise edition. So you can just uh, filter out uh, what are your particular scratchogs and which scratchogs uh, the other persons are working on, right? And this particular scratchog info mainly is like a, I should say. Um, uh, I mean a database of all the scratchogs or an archive of all the scratchogs that you created till now from this particular dev hub, right? Okay, so we got to know a little more about dev hub, what are the objects that are present in there and what information that they contain. So we got to know about uh, active scratchogs, right? And uh, we got to know about scratchog info. Okay, so let's see how we can delete a scratchog using SFDX CLI. So in order to delete a scratchog using SFDX CLI, uh, you can just execute a command which says SFDX force org delete and then you need to give the username of your scratchog, right? Uh, I mean the username that is particularly linked with that, that particular scratchog. So let's say I want to delete a scratchog which was uh, I'm not getting the username here, so just let me display the scratchogs once again. Okay, so let's say I want to delete this particular scratchog, uh, which is test hyphen SLQI. So I'm just going to clear this up and uh, I'm going to write SFDX force org delete and then hyphen u and then the username of my scratchog right so this uh, command will actually delete your scratchog and uh, it will actually mark the scratchog for deletion i should say so here you it is asking me a question that do you want to enqueue the scratchog with the username this for deletion are you sure you just need to press y and then you need to press enter right so it will automatically mark this particular scratchog for deletion. So let's say, uh, I mean, sometimes it, sometimes it happens that we create a scratchog for 30 days, but we got to know that, uh, oh, we don't need to use that scratchog for 30 days. So we can't wait actually, you know, uh, in a developer edition, uh, we can have only three active scratchogs. So we can't actually wait for 30 days for that particular scratchog to expire and then to shift to a new scratchog. You, you, you should have the flexibility to delete, to delete that manually right so uh, using this particular command you can delete a scratchog which is sfdx force org delete and then the username of your scratchog right okay so let's check out our dev hub and let's see whether this scratchog is deleted or not okay so uh, if i check out my dev hub and if i just going i'm going to refresh this particular list view i can see here that one scratchog is deleted and i have only one active scratchog right now in my dev hub right Okay, so uh, let's see how we can delete a scratchog using dev hub. So this was the uh, option to delete a scratchog using SFDX CLI. But in case you want to delete a scratchog using dev hub, you can simply go to uh, your dev hub and you can uh, check out the active scratchogs there. And in order to delete a scratchog, you all you need to do is just to click on this button and you need to delete this active scratchog record. And once you are deleting the active scratchog record, your active scratchog is automatically marked for deletion. You don't need to do anything else. So uh, let's say if I just uh, check out the active scratchogs that are linked to my dev hub, I can see here that there is no active scratchog. And I, I can also check out the limit from the CLI itself, right? So we got to know that how we can delete a scratchog from the dev hub, but we can also check the limits on the Salesforce org using SFDX CLI. So what is the command to check the limits? In order to check the limits, you can uh, execute this command, which is SFDX force 
and then limits and then API and then display and then you need to give the username of your scratch org right or username of your org i should say so right now uh, what i did i actually deleted a scratch org from my dev hub and now i'm going to i want to check out actually right that uh, whether my uh, scratch orgs are deleted properly or not or whether they are counted against my limits so one way to check is to create again three scratch orgs and we'll see how we can i mean uh, uh, either we are able to create a new scratch org or not and the other way is to uh, run the limits command and to check out whether my limits, uh, I mean, whether the scratch offs that are deleted are counted against the limits for my dev hub or not, right? So I'm just going to paste this command and for the username, I'm going to add the username of my dev hub. So the username of my dev hub is sfdc stop dev hub and I'm going to press enter. So what this command will do, it will actually show me all the limits that are associated with my dev hub org. So you can see here, if I just uh, scroll up a little, these are all the limits that are uh, associated with my dev hub org. So here I can see uh, the active scratch orgs that are present in my uh, that are present or I should say are available that I can create from my dev hub is three and the maximum scratch orgs that I can have uh, active in my dev hub is also three because this is a developer edition so that's why the maximum scratch orgs that I can have as active is three and the remaining scratch orgs are also three right and uh, if I check out uh, some other information like uh, if I just check out the daily scratch orgs info so in a developer edition you can have uh, you can create at, at max six scratch orgs in a day and uh, the remaining limit that I have is four because uh, before before actually starting this video I created two scratch orgs to show you how you can delete it from uh, from the SFDX CLI as well as from the uh, dev hub right so uh, right now I have four scratch orgs remaining that I can create it uh, today itself and the total scratch orgs that I can create within a day is number six so we can check out i mean uh, whether my scratch orgs i mean uh, if you are just uh, deleting it from the cli it just shows us a message that your scratch org is marked for deletion but in case you want to be sure you can just uh, run this limits command and you can check out whether you are whether your uh, scratch orgs are, are counted against limits or not right so i'm just going to pause this video for a second and i'm going to create three more scratch orgs and then we'll see how uh, how the sfdx cli reacts when we are hitting the limits right Okay, so what I did, I actually created three more scratch orgs using uh, SFDX force or create command. And if we switch over to our dev hub and we check out the active scratch orgs, we can simply see that we have three more scratch orgs that are currently active in our dev hub, right? So let's say I want to create one more scratch org. So I'm just going to run this command again, which is SFDX force or create to create a scratch org. But uh, I have already created three scratch orgs for my for my developer edition that are available. So in that case, I'll getting I'll be getting a simple error message will say which will say that uh, you cannot create more than three scratch orgs, right? So here you can see that I am getting a message that a uh, sign up request failed because this organization has reached its active scratch org limit. And uh, if I want to check my limit, I can just execute this particular command and I can give uh, my username which is SFDC stop dev hub. And uh, here I can see that uh, how many scratch orgs I have remaining for my dev hub, right? And uh, if I just go above here, here I can see that I have I have maximum of three scratch orgs that I can have as an active scratch orgs, but right now I don't have any remaining remaining active scratch org that I can create, right? And if I check out the daily scratch orgs limit, I have a limit of six, but I have already created five, so I can create just one more scratch org today, and then uh, if I try to create one more scratch org after that, I'll get a sim similar kind of message that you have uh, you cannot create uh, any more scratch org because the organization has reached its daily scratch org. Limit, right so this is how i mean you can manage your scratch orgs from the dev hub as well as you can manage your scratch orgs from the sfdx cli and uh, uh, all the information is present in your dev hub which is regarding active and scratch org infos okay so before ending this tutorial i just want to uh, show you one more thing uh, 
दिस इज रिगार्डिंग द स्क्रैच ऑफ एलोकेशन डेट आर प्रेजेंट इन डिफरेंट एडिशन ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स राइट सो आई जस्ट गिव दिस डॉक्यूमेंट लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो बट जस्ट टू शो यू वेरी क्विकली इन द डेवलपर एडिशन और ट्रायल एडिशन ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स वी हैव थ्री एक्टिव स्क्रैच ऑफ एलोकेशन एंड सिक्स डेली स्क्रैच ऑफ एलोकेशन सो वी शो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू राइट इन द एंटरप्राइज एडिशन वी हैव फोर्टी एक्टिव स्क्रैच ऑफ एलोकेशन एंड एटी डेली स्क्रैच ऑफ एलोकेशन सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ अनलिमिटेड एडिशन वी हैव हंड्रेड एंड टू हंड्रेड एक्टिव एंड डेली स्क्रैच ऑफ एलोकेशन एंड इन केस ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस एडिशन वी हैव हंड्रेड एंड टू हंड्रेड एक्टिव एंड डेली स्क्रैच ऑफ एलोकेशन राइट uh okay so uh, this is uh, uh, all about uh, scratch ox and devhub and in the next video we are going to learn how we can set up a scratch ox for managed package development because you know uh, in case of scratch ox we have a very very good feature if you are developing a managed package or if you are going to develop an apex in app so we'll see how we can set up a scratch ox for managed package development and what is that particular feature that i'm talking about in the next video till then have a good day bye bye